How's it going? It's your host, Jackson Dornob, and today I was scrolling through Twitter, and I saw a tweet from Bloomberg Opinion on the fact that there have been a lot of grocery store shortages, so I started looking into it, and there was an article on the website. I'm going to read a little bit from it. This is an expert excerpt. There are a few reasons to expect this latest crunch to be temporary. Record inflation, for example, will likely take a bite out of consumer demand and thus ease supply constraints. But don't expect the problems to end there. To recap, global trade routes are already stretched before Omicron emerged. Factory and port closures in Asia from the earlier Delta outbreak led to shipments being stuck in the Pacific ahead of the 2021 peak selling season. Bed Bath & Beyond Incorporated said that the run up to the holidays, it couldn't get enough paper to send out to its circulars to... to this is written oddly. To tempt customers into stores. Add in labor shortages among food processing plants and truck drivers, and by the holiday season, stocks of seasonal staples were lower than normal. The latest code of variant has only made these issues worse. Supermarket Albertsons Cross said last week that Omnicron put a dent in its expectations about improved supply chains as staff absences and continues to disrupt food manufacturing and distribution. It anticipates this to continue for the next four to six weeks. Similar concerns were echoed by food manufacturer Conagra Brands Incorporated, which warned of the challenge of challenges for the next month or so. I don't know why I blanked out there for a second. Uh, mainly because I was just trying to collect my thoughts on what I was trying to say, but what I was trying to say is, uh, this is silly to go out and do. I mean, we saw it with the the toilet paper incidents in early 2020, I'm sure you remember it. Uh, there was just, it was pandemonium. People taking, like, F-150s and filling their entire back of their pickup truck up with toilet paper and it was mainly toilet paper I don't know why that was you know it couldn't uh, couldn't have been like food or something you know it's it's just odd to me to do these things and I know supply chains have been backed up for a lot of things lately I mean if you're a person who wants to by PC and you're trying to get a graphics card good luck to you honestly because it's just it's rough out there you know supplies are extremely limited for stuff like that and the stuff you can get oftentimes is like way out there but uh back to the groceries uh I thought this was more like a normal like not a normal thing but more a local thing until I started looking more into it, it's it's affecting a lot of the country. And uh, as you can see from this graph that I'm putting up on your screen right now, um, Chrono 26 weeks from the 9th of January of this year, four weeks from the 9th of January of this year, and a week from the 9th, 9th of January. Most things were normal except for like sports drinks and aseptic juices. I don't know what an aseptic juice is. If I do, I'll put it in. Uh, it's just odd. And hopefully things will go back to normal. But obviously with this whole Omnicron thing, like the article said, it's probably going to get worse before it gets better. Uh, I remember early, later on in 2021, there was a chicken shortage uh, around September or November. And I don't, as far as I've heard, that's still going on. So, I mean, how long before it becomes, like, more essential things, you know, as people start to hoard, expecting another lockdown, because we've hit 
a million cases a day like I think a week or two ago uh, it's just interesting to see but I think that about wraps it up this is an interesting subject but there isn't a ton to say on it hopefully I didn't get too rambly uh, but thanks for watching I'm out